This is the lesson for 3-6 day one. What we're doing today is that we are rearranging equations for y equals. If you take a look at this question, which we're going to do in a couple days, um, if I said to graph these two equations and see where the two lines cross to find your solution, would you be able to graph these? Well, when you take a look at both of these equations, neither one is in the proper form. Remember to graph an equation, we need equations in that y equals mx plus b form. So we need equations like, for example, y equals 2x plus one. That's how we need equations written. Notice that this one does not have the y equals all by itself. Neither does this one. So could you graph these how they're written right now? No, you couldn't. So what we're gonna be focusing in on today is how to rearrange them for y equals. Your goal in every problem today is to get the y equals all by itself. So that in future lessons, we can graph these equations. So we're not graphing anything today. All we're doing is rearranging for y equals. So today we want equations that look like these. We want that y equals all by itself. So like y equals x plus one. Well, instead of having y equals x plus one today, you're gonna start off with this equation and have to rearrange it to become this. You're gonna want equations like y equals two thirds x minus four. Well, you're gonna start off today with an equation like this and rearrange this equation to become this in the proper form. Or y equals two x plus four. You're gonna have equations that look like this. So we're gonna to have to manipulate those equations somehow. Well, think about how you normally solve for X. When you normally solve for X, in, back in chapter two, we solved this one-step equation for X. To get the X all by itself, we have to do the opposite operation. So we had to do plus four and plus four to get that X all by itself so that we could get X equals all by itself and X equaled 14. So we had to get that x equals all by itself, getting rid of that minus four by doing plus four and plus four. You're always going to want to do the opposite operation. When you have a two-step equation, you're still going to do that same thing. You're gonna do that opposite operation. So we're gonna do plus one and plus one here so that we have two x equals four. Uh, and then we're going to do divide by two, divide by two to get that x all by itself. Today, you're going to solve for y equals. We're trying to get that y all by itself, all right? We're trying to get a y equals answer. So let's take a look at some other things that you need to know. So I'm going to tell you that your elementary teachers lied to you, all right? We are going to rearrange terms on the same side of the equal sign we're going to switch the order, keeping the sign in front of the number the same. So what does that mean? Well, you know that if we had five plus six, five plus six, I could take and switch around that order to be six plus five, all right? Six plus five is the same thing as five plus six. Three minus one. Now here's where your elementary teachers lied to you. They said, you can switch around adding questions, but you can't switch around subtracting questions. Not exactly true. You can switch around subtracting questions and you will today. Three minus one, three minus one. We can take and switch around the order, all right? When we switch around the order, the sign that's in front of the number has to stay the same. So we have a minus sign in front of the one. So when we go to switch around the order, that minus one is going to become negative one. This is really a positive three. So there's really a plus sign in front of that three. So when we switch it around, we have to move the sign that's in front of it with it. So that plus sign is, or that positive sign is going to become a plus sign. So three minus one becomes negative one plus three. 
one plus two X. I can take and switch around that one. That one's adding. That one's pretty easy. One plus two X becomes two X plus one. <clears throat> Negative five plus four X. I can take and switch around the order. We want the sign in front of the number to stay the same. So negative five plus four X becomes four X minus five. We have to keep that sign in front. That negative sign becomes a minus sign. One minus three X. Again, we wanna take and switch around the order so that the sign in front of the number stays the same. So one minus three X becomes negative three X plus one. Negative two minus five X. We can take and switch around the order. That becomes negative two minus five X. So you can take and switch around the order of any equation, as long as it's on the same side of the equal side. And we're gonna do a whole bunch more of those. All right, so watch what we're about to do here. So these are the types of questions that you're going to get today. You want your final answer in this form, right? You want it in that Y equals MX plus B form. So we want answers like Y equals 2X plus one, all right? That's how we want our answers to, final answers to look. You're going to get the Y all by itself by first adding or subtracting the X value from each side. You're gonna change the order so that it's in this MX plus B form. So we always want the X first and then your plus or minus your plain number. So if we have the equation X plus Y equals two, we wanna try and get that Y all by itself. To get that Y all by itself, we need to get rid of the X. Now this is a positive X. So to get it to the other side of the equal sign, we have to do minus X and minus X. These X's just like in solving a normal equation, cancel out. We have our y equals, we're gonna just bring that down. Now two minus x, you can't do two minus x, but we can take and switch around the order of those terms so that it's in this mx plus b form. So two minus x, we're gonna take and switch around the order to become negative x plus two. Why is it plus two? It's plus two because there's a positive two there. Let's take a look at the middle one. Y minus X equals one. Again, we're trying to get the Y all by itself. To get this Y all by itself, we need to get rid of the minus X. We get rid of the minus X by doing plus X and plus X. Therefore, those X's cancel out. Bring down my Y, bring down my equal sign. Now, be careful. One plus X. I don't want it written as one plus X. We can't add together a letter and a plain number like that, but we can switch around the order. One plus X is just X plus one. Remember, we want it in this form, right? We want it in this Y equals MX plus B form. So take a look at the next one. Two X plus Y equals nine. Again, we wanna try and get this Y all by itself. To get that Y all by itself, I have to do minus 2X and minus 2X. Now, a very, very common mistake that people will make right here. A lot of people will go, oh, nine minus 2X is 7X. No, it's not. That's not the way that it works. You can't add or subtract plain numbers and letters together. So nine minus 2X is really just nine minus 2X, but we don't want it written in that form, we want the letter to come first. So to make that letter come first, we want to switch around the order. So this is going to be negative two X plus nine. It's plus nine because that's a positive nine. So let's take a look at some more. So remember, we want it in this form. We want it to look like Y equals two X plus one, right? We want our Y equals first, then our X value, then our plus or minus our plain number. So to get this Y all by itself, I need to get rid of the minus three X. We get rid of the minus three X by doing plus three X and plus three X. 
Now, again, be very, very careful. You cannot add together four and three X to be seven X. It's not the way that it works. You can't add together plain numbers and letters. So four plus three X, I wanna take and switch around the order. So that becomes three X plus four. Five X plus Y equals negative two. Again, I wanna get that Y all by itself. To get that Y all by itself, I need to do minus five X and minus five X. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. So I'm gonna do minus five X and minus five X. So those cancel out, bring down my Y equals negative two minus five X. I can't do that, but I can switch around the order. We always want our letter to go first. So this becomes negative five X minus two. X equals Y minus five. Now trying to trick you a little bit on this one by having the Y on the right hand side. Remember our goal is just to get that Y by itself. It doesn't matter whether it's on the left hand side of the equal sign or the right hand side. I just want it all by itself. So here I'm going to do plus five and plus five to get that Y all by itself. Those cancel out. On this side, I have X plus five equals Y. Is that the same thing as Y equals X plus five? Yes, it is, all right? I can just take and switch around what's on what side of the equal sign there. Take a look at a couple more. Again, I want it in this form so that my Y equals is first, then my number with my X, then my plus or minus my plain number. So to get the Y all by itself, I need to get rid of the X. So I'm gonna do minus X and minus X. So I have Y equals, I can't do negative three minus X, but I can switch around the order. So that becomes negative X minus three. Now be careful, that is a minus three because we had a negative three there. You don't change the sign that's in front of the number when you switch around the order. To get this Y all by itself in the middle one, I need to get rid of the plus nine X. You get rid of the plus nine X by doing minus nine X and minus nine X. So I have Y equals, you can't do seven minus nine X, but you can switch around the order to be negative nine X plus seven. Again, that is a plus seven because that's a positive seven. To get this Y all by itself, I wanna do plus three X and plus three X. So Y equals, again, I can't add those together to be 11 X. That's not the way that it works. You just have to switch around the order. So this becomes three X plus eight. That is a plus eight because that was a positive eight. Go ahead and try these three questions. Pause the video. Try these three questions on your own, please. So when we take a look at this one, we would have a plus four X and plus four X to get that Y all by itself. 10 plus four X, we're just gonna take and switch around the order to be four X plus 10. X plus Y equals four. I wanna try and get that Y all by itself. So I'm gonna do minus X and minus X. I can't subtract those, but I can switch around the order to be negative X plus four. In this one, I want to add X and add X. So I have Y equals not 19 plus X, but I want to switch around the order to be X plus 19. So again, you're solving these just like you're solving normal equations. You're trying to get that Y equals all by itself. And you always want it in this MX plus B form. Remember, you can't add together X's and plain numbers together. You can't subtract them either. 